While Frankenstein's monster may have been a figment of science fiction, there are even more bizarre experiments in mad science that are now frightening reality. Man has been forever trying to play God, and while science is far from creating a human, there are results of medical technology that are astonishing to say the least. Cloning and growing human organs in animals are now common adventures in medical evolution. And who knows, we might see bloody zombies one day. Let's not kid around. There are crazy scientists who have indulged in the weirdest of projects branching all boundaries of ethical results, some of which you're about to see here today. From a weird source, to the muscle-flaunting Belgian cow, to an amazing and mythical Tygon. Check out these 15 most unusual animals created by humans that will blow your mind. Don't stop till you reach number one because that is freaking crazy. Like and subscribe right now or you're gonna have bad luck for the next week. Don't risk it, let's start. The Belgian Blue. Have you ever seen a cow who looks like a bodybuilder overdosing on steroids? Yeah, me neither. Now check out the Belgian Blue. Who would have thought such an animal exists? This is definitely more beef than anyone could handle. I mean, look at all those muscles. How the hell do these cows get so muscular, I hear you ask? The animal's breeders are keen to show off the results of their hard work. Did they just get out of the Animal Muscle Building Academy? Or were they reared by Schwarzenegger himself? Science says these guys are a cross between the Shorthorn and the Charolais cow species that originated in Belgium. In fact, they've been existing for centuries, yet we learned of them only in the 60s. Besides being called Belgian Blue, they're known by many other names, like Belgian Blue White, Belgian White, and Blue Pied. Belgian Blues have double muscles, explaining their abnormally ripped and muscular size. Each can weigh almost 2,700 pounds or 1,250 kilograms. These tough steers are found in parts of Europe and Ireland. And hey, if you thought these guys are mean because of their incredible size, then heck no. They are gentle babies. Yes, impressed? Don't go away. The next animal is equally freaky. Zorse. What would you get when you cross a zebra and a horse? A zorse, of course. And no, that's not just a fun fact because some mad scientist got this crazy idea of crossbreeding zebras and horses in captivity. You can either imagine the result or watch the video of a zorse. Nature never intended for zebras and horses to mate because of their extreme geographical location. But then again, scientists get some weird ideas at times, and one of them decided to make a zorse. A zorse can grow up to 64 inches in height and weigh between 500 to 992 pounds. It's an incredibly beautiful animal, but dependent on human intervention. A zorse also has stripes on its legs and rear, which screams out loud, hey, I was once a zebra. Zorses are strong animals gifted with the strength of both horse and zebra and have incredible abilities too. A zorse can recognize toxic plants, has keen taste, excellent hearing and smell, and would you believe a 365 degree visual field and night vision too? How cool is that? Now what happens when you cross a dolphin and a whale? The result is in the next video. Wolfen. A cross between a dolphin and a whale? Now why would anyone want to crossbreed predator and prey? <laughs> It sounds bizarre, and whose side is a wolfen gonna take when Papa Dolphin becomes a juicy meal in front of Mama Whale? The wolfen is a rare marine mammal, created from the crossbreeding of a bottlenose dolphin and false killer whale. Incidentally, false killer whales look a lot like large dolphins too. Scientists argue that wolfens exist in the wild, but there's no evidence yet. These rare creatures only exist in captivity, which is the only place they could hope to mate. Wolfens have a large body that's in between the size of its parent species, but their eyes look like whales. Unlike the whale with 44 teeth and the dolphin with 88 teeth, the wolfen ended up having 66. Unlike the dolphin though, it's a carnivore and was first created in 1985 at Sea Life Park, Hawaii. It keeps getting crazier. Just check out the next video. You'll learn what a zonkey is. Zonkey. A zonkey! Even the name sounds weird. But yes, scientists have gone and created a crossbreed between a zebra and a donkey. And obviously, they called it a zonkey. The experts playing God say that there's no reason why a zebra and a donkey can't mate, even in the wild. Is that why they made one, just to prove it? Zonkeys are now a common tourist attraction in zoos around the world, and they look adorable too. 
These sturdy creatures can grow 3.5 to 5 feet in height and weigh up to 700 pounds. A regular zonkey is brown or gray with black stripes on its legs and belly. Its rear end is a light color. What makes this little hybrid stand out is its zebra mane running all the way down to its tail. Zonkeys are herbivores who eat only grass, fruits, and berries. These guys are fast and can run at speeds of 35 miles per hour, but they can't reproduce. Thank God for that. They can only be produced through mating between a zebra and a donkey. Don't go just yet. There's an amazing hybrid coming up and it's called a Tygon. The Tygon. It sounds amazing how science can play around with animal genetics and occasionally create creatures as majestic as the Tygon. Not always will you get a Frankenstein's monster, and the Tygon, which has been around for several decades, is proof of that. The Tygon is a cross hybrid between a male tiger and a female lion, with visible features of both parents. Oh my god, will you look at this beast? He looks like something that crawled out of the wardrobe from Narnia. The Tygon has both spots and stripes and makes it look so magical and a major attraction for zoos that have them. The most famous examples of a Tygon project were in the Alipore Zoo, Kolkata, India, which in the 60s and 70s became the only zoo in the world to house Tygons. But do you think they stopped there? In 1979, a Tygon named Rudrani was mated with an Asian lion to produce a Lytagon named Kubanakan, who according to Guinness was the world's biggest cat in captivity. The beast weighed a massive 800 pounds and measured 11 feet in length. Continue watching to see how crazier hybrid breeding can get. Like in the next video, when some madcap decided to cross a goat and a sheep. Geep. Mating a sheep and a goat sounds easy, doesn't it? After all, they're similar species and even look alike. But hey, nature didn't intend it to be that way, which is why each time scientists have tried crossbreeding the two to create a geep, it's always stillborn. Tough luck, Frankensteins. The only time a geep lived was in Botswana in 2000, when a male sheep mated with a female goat and voila, the first live geep was born. The creature had a coarse outer coat and a woolly inner coat. Dipping them as far as they could see. And they came home then and they were asking a few lads and they said, Its legs were that of a goat but its body was that of a sheep. It was a hyperactive little humpy beast who wanted to mate with ewes even though it was infertile. Over the years, it seemed that the geep breeding was turned successful when a fertile geep was born in the Netherlands and even produced an offspring. The petting zoo in Scottsdale, Arizona also has a geep born in 2014. Liger. Have you ever heard of a liger? If you haven't, then check out this big guy. His name is Apollo, and he lives on Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve, also home to Hercules, the world's largest non-obese liger. Apollo here is a perfect example of a liger, the crossbreed between a lion and a female tiger. Different from the Tygon, a liger usually looks like a lioness, a single color and smooth, but with one difference. These beasts inherit all the traits of their parents, making them large and powerful creatures. A liger can grow over 11 feet, and some, like Apollo and Hercules, can weigh over 900 pounds. Because of their genes, ligers happen to be the biggest cats in the world. And just sit around and kind of be social and be in groups. But surprisingly are also very social animals. Ligers like Apollo like swimming, a trait inherited from his tiger genes. He also seems quite calm and composed. Maybe they're content with their peaceful environment and it's all credit to their handlers, Cody and Tawny Antle. Love and care makes a big difference to wild animals too. If Apollo amazed you, then check out the next hybrid because while beautiful, it's crazy. Jag Lions. At first glance, what you're seeing here looks like some mythical creature conjured up from fantasy land, but hell no, this is a jag lion crossbreed between a female lion and a jaguar. The two best examples of the world's most famous jag lions are Tsunami, a male, and Jazera, a female, who lived in Bear Creek Exotic Wildlife Sanctuary. The reserve in Toronto, Canada has been home to these two beautiful specimens who were born here in 2006. Their parents were a male jaguar, Diablo, and a female lioness called Lola. Both Tsunami and Jazzy were raised together from birth and are now inseparable. While Tsunami looks like a regular spotted jaguar, Jazzy looks like some strange mythical creature with spots dominated by her black genetic color. Jag lions are even more powerful than a conventional jaguar. They are larger to look at and can be quite eerie too. Looking at Jazzy, you'll know what I mean. Don't give these guys veggies. You'll be snubbed because they're total carnivores with excellent night vision too. Next, you're gonna see a hybrid that costs you $20,000. Check out the awesome Savannah Cat. The Savannah Cat. We bet you haven't seen anything quite like the Savannah Cat. This feline is a beauty, but don't think of Googling how to get one because they come at a fat price. The Savannah Cat is a crossbreed between an African serval and a domestic cat. The world's first hybrid was born in 1986 and was named Savannah. Not everyone takes kindly to mad science experiments, which is why this hybrid is banned in three states, Hawaii, Massachusetts, and Georgia. But that doesn't stop several wealthy people from wanting that exotic cat. The Savannah cat takes about three years to mature to adult size. Once they do, they display all the traits of their mixed genes. Savannahs are excellent jumpers and can even leap over eight feet. 
Looking gorgeous, they come in typical colors like black, brown, or silver. Some will also have dark brown spots, a mark of their wild genes. While third generation Savannah cats can cost up to $1,000, a first generation one is way out of reach, costing a whopping $20,000. Stay tuned, here's something that might make you think burger or steak, it's a beefalo. Beefalo. As weird as it gets, the beefalo is a cross hybrid between domestic cattle and the wild American bison, also called the buffalo. The beefalo is relatively new and has been around since the 70s. Prior to that, they weren't very successful. But then came along Bud Basilo, who got the genetic ratio right to create the first successful beefalo. The cattle used is of Hereford or Cherlay origin. which is what makes the beefalo a strong and muscular animal. What's more, beefalo means you get a bison who won't charge or snort at you because beefaloes are docile like domestic cattle. They have all the positive traits of their mixed genes, which makes them immune to disease. As hardy cattle, they also live longer and fertile lives. Now that's quite cool actually. Stay tuned, our next hybrid creature is amazing and wild. What would you say to the koi wolf? Koi wolf. One fails to wonder why scientists have nothing better to do than mixing around animal breeds like peanut butter and jam. Now that mix sounds delightful, but not always are they as lucky as that. Sometimes you get a weird, bizarre creature, but at times they end up producing something magical, like the koi wolf. The hybrid between western coyotes and eastern wolves first appeared in Ontario in the early 20th century, but today they've actually populated themselves and can be found in parts of Canada and the USA. If you're lucky, you may get to see koi wolves near woodlands, ravines, and streams. Koi wolves aren't so with humans, so don't get too close. These are highly carnivorous animals, recognized by a large head, short ears, strong wolf-like body, and mind you, very powerful jaws. They live and hunt in packs, and their howling is a distinct tune that starts like a howl and ends in a yipping sound as a means of communication with other koi wolves. We have more crazy animals for you, and the next one is the bizarre Kama. Don't go away. Thanks for watching! You now know Frankenstein's mania has also gripped scientists of the 21st century where mad science creates the weirdest of breeds. Did you know that Azores existed? Or the funny Zonky? But hey, you've got to admit the Liger and the Tigon look freaking awesome. So they aren't all bad. Stay tuned to our channel for an awesome new video.